and our guest performer for the Chairman's Club Dinner. I want to echo what Tom said earlier, and I think it's the sentiment of all of the members of the staff of the Hardin Center for Cultural Arts as to what a pleasure it is to get up each morning and come to work in such an incredible environment. All of us, even if it's not in our job title, all of us who work here, in a way, are artists. All of us who work here, in a way, are educators. And so, it's so enjoyable for us to have the opportunity to watch the young people that we work with grow and develop and mature. I can think of any number of students that I have seen come through the Etowah Youth Orchestra program and make incredible contributions to their own communities and to communities outside of Gadsden. Every once in a while though, you have a student who comes through your program who you realize is really special. A student that you just know somehow is going to make a tremendous difference. You don't know necessarily how it's going to happen, or when it's going to happen, or where it's going to happen, but you just get that sense that this is a student that's going to be someone really special. And so we all work to foster those students, to provide them all of the opportunities that we possibly can, and when that moment occurs, it's really the moment that you realize that all of the time and the effort and the work has paid off. When you have a student, a former student, an alumnus of your program, one that you are so proud to have been associated with, who has one single video on YouTube that has over 12 million hits, <laughs> you know that that student, that that alumnus, that that person, that musician is really someone special. He's here tonight, and I am so pleased to introduce to you an alumnus of the Etowah Youth Orchestras and an incredibly talented artist and musician. Please welcome D sharp. Good evening, everyone. Can everyone hear me okay? Yes. Okay. Um, so, as you guys know, my name is D sharp. Derek Gleaton, what most people call me D Sharp. Um, uh, just a brisk, uh, brief history about myself. I have been playing music for about 17 years, starting when I was 11, all the way over in Columbus, Georgia, when I started playing viola and um, <clears throat> playing in different groups and orchestras and, and everything. And then I moved here, I moved to Anniston, Alabama um, in the ninth grade. And moving there, I realized that there were no string programs in the schools there. So myself along with my parents you know, began to search for different opportunities for me to continue my education in strings and um, we came across the Etowah Youth Orchestra. So we waited for the fall semester to come up and I came and did an audition. I got selected, was very, very excited and started working under Mike and um, it was Amazing. It was, um, I always tell people it was some of the greatest years, my favorite years in my musical career. And, um, you know, because of people like you, it's able to keep going and keep moving and keep affording kids like me more opportunities to express ourselves, you know, through music, through dance, through whatever art forms, and which is something that I can't really even stress enough is, uh, you know, important. And, um, you know, just making kids just feel feel like we have, you know, options. And, you know, every once in a while, you have someone that really makes a, a, a life out of it and a career out of it. Um, and so, thank you um, for your contributions to the Gaston, you know, Cultural Arts Foundation, because 
it really, really, really is making a difference in children's lives. It's really changing kids' lives and giving them, you know, purpose and just, uh, just raising the quality of life. Um, so thank you guys. And um, I'm going to go ahead and play some music for you guys. I'm going to play some of my original stuff. I've always been very interested in pushing, pushing the envelope and trying new sounds. Um, I'm classically trained. But I've always been into like other styles of music, like pop and hip hop and R&B, and so <clears throat> I always figure, why can't I mesh these things together with with classical and with stringed instruments? And um, one thing that I um, really really enjoyed about playing in the NYU Youth Orchestra is Mike. He always gave us different opportunities to bring in different elements into the symphony, which no one else was really no I couldn't name you anyone else that was really doing these things at the time. We would. You know, the rock and roll Christmas, we were bringing in these guitars and all this different <coughs> stuff, which I thought was the coolest thing because most of the time, they, they're two opposite ends of the spectrum. So um, I think it's, it's been very, very, very beneficial to, to study under Mike, and it, he helped me to realize that it really is possible to merge two worlds together and keep it entertaining and hopefully get you dancing or get a toe tapping and or <laughs> or your head nodding or anything so that's basically my my whole mo when it comes to me making music uh doing my videos i want to invoke a feeling in you and you know raise your spirits help you forget about your problems uh any issues that's going on and live in the moment be free express yourself in any way you want and just literally just be yourself and enjoy life so once again, thank you guys. Um, your, con your contributions are very, very, um, I'm very, very grateful for your contributions. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and get to it. This is some of my original music. Um, I'm gonna do one couple for you guys in the middle, but most of the stuff is my original sounds and I hope you guys enjoy it. It's a little different, like we were saying earlier. It's not your normal violin music or it's not you know, your, your normal violin concert. A little different, um, and I'm hoping you guys enjoy it. So, thank you.
enough, can't be enough. Your man in the plug, baby, he the dog. Drink smoke, get high. Baby, put your panties to the side. On the blue dye, get loose. Hit a dope style on ginger. This nigga from behind, what's your name, what's your sign? We can make back the money, can't make back the time.
guys for listening to me. This is my song, Nightfall. This will be my last song, so enjoy it. Thank you to the Aston Center for the Cultural Arts. Um, shout out to you guys, Mike. Shout out to my parents. Thank you. All you guys, that was awesome. And thank you for allowing me to do what I do. <laughs> <laughs>